Hey, James here. This recording sounds awful. That's because it's clipping. But why is it clipping? And how can we avoid clipping in our own recordings? Let's take a closer look. So let's talk about what clipping actually is. Clipping is a form of digital distortion that occurs when an amp is pushed beyond its maximum limit and goes into overdrive. This overdriven signal causes the amp to try and push an output voltage that it can't achieve and consequently clipping occurs. To try and describe this better, let's have a look at a sine wave. Normally, a sine wave is a continuous curve, but as you increase the gain, you'll start to see that the top of the wave starts to square off. They look clipped, and this doesn't sound good. So what can we do to minimize the risk of clipping? Well, we can do something called gain staging. This is where you set the gain of your microphone or output to a level where it won't clip under normal circumstances. Let's do that now. So now I'm speaking into the microphone at the distance I'm going to be recording at. As you can see, the recording level is quite low. I really want to hit between minus 12 and minus 9 within my door when I'm recording vocals. So I'm going to turn the gain up on my interface so I'm consistently hitting between minus 12 and minus 9 decibels. Digital signal clips at 0 dB, so you need to make sure that you have plenty of headroom just in case. Bear in mind that it is much easier to increase the volume of an audio source if it is too quiet than fixing it if your gain is too high. This is why I am setting my gain here. I have lots of headroom if I speak a little louder or I get a little bit enthusiastic when I'm speaking. A lot of people, professionals included, neglect to spend a little bit of time before they record and end up with audio that sounds subpar. I'll be tempted to click off a video if the narration frequently clips, so just taking a little bit of time to set your gain beforehand can help a lot. If you're recording using a door that doesn't have a meter that shows you what dB you're hitting, like GarageBand for example, or your system preferences sound settings, I would set the gain so you're hitting anywhere from between 50 to 75% on your fader. It's also important to make sure that you aren't clipping your preamp. As you can see here, the volume is all good in GarageBand, but I'm actually clipping quite badly on the input. If this is the case, you'll want to roll your gain knob back quite a bit to make sure you don't clip. This can be much easier to manage on audio interfaces that have an actual meter. Here, there is a little bit more trial and error to it. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. I'm thinking about doing a few more tutorials like this in the future, so if that's something that you'd want to see, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching! <laughs>